Thank you. I sold this 2017 uh, Chevy Traverse yesterday and the gentleman driving it said that when he got to like 50, 55, it had a little shimmy in the front end, uh, probably like a wheel out of balance or something like that. So I just gassed it and I'm gonna take it down the road here and see if I feel the same thing. We'll have service take a look at it and obviously whatever it needs, uh, you know, we will attend to. I don't know if it's gonna be like an alignment issue or just a wheel out of balance, whatever the case may be. But let's first see what it's doing at about 55 miles an hour. Oh yeah, you can see the wheel, for sure. We're doing 55, and you can see it's got a little shimmy in the wheel. It tracks perfectly straight. Definitely something we'll have to take a look at. He's gonna take delivery tomorrow morning right at 9.30, so we definitely have to make sure we get it in the shop today. Uh, today is Friday, and uh, it's another very gorgeous day here in Northern New Jersey. I keep saying that in all the videos because it's uh, true. It's just been very nice weather lately. As you can imagine, business has been a little off lately as far as units. Uh, I only have like six I think six delivered. This will be seven, and I have another one go tomorrow, which is eight. Uh, it's the 24th or 5th of the month, so, you know, definitely off my normal numbers. Uh, we are fielding a tremendous amount of phone calls on vehicles that are already spoken for. You know, trail bosses, Tahoe, Suburbans, things like that. I have a bunch of factory orders, uh, a couple that might arrive this month, which would be good, and then a bunch, you know, going into, into July and August and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, we're just plugging along, doing what we can do. Yesterday, I spent some time on the lot and uh, kind of rearranged the, the used cars, you know, angling them and kind of spacing them out a little bit more uh, to make it look like we maybe have a little bit more than we actually do, because even now our used car lot is getting a little uh, a little depleted. Part of the reason that is we're selling uh, our certified and our used cars, uh, not only to customers, but also to auction. So these five vehicles here, we got a Malibu, an Equinox, a Traverse, a Trax, and another Traverse. Uh, we recently just sold at GM Smart Auction. You know, these cars have been here maybe 60 to 70 to 80 days. And right now, based on how we own that car, we can send it to auction. Auction prices are high. We can turn a quick profit for the dealership uh, and just unload them there while the market is where it's at. You know, now it's a little harder to replace those vehicles because you're not buying them from auction, uh, but we're taking in as many lease returns and stuff like that that we can. Check it out, all the cars on the front line lined up, angled towards uh, towards traffic driving and approaching them, very inviting. Definitely a nice, uh, nice way to do it. As we pull in the used car lot here, I put the cars in this row, everything's sort of gapped out, you know, you know, three feet, three and a half feet, a lot bigger than it used to be. Again, making it look like we have more cars than we do maybe. It also makes it a lot easier to actually get between them and show customers and stuff like that. So it's, uh, Pretty good way to put them. Chevy Traxxas I put here. I kept these straight uh, rather than angle them. Again, just gapped them real nice. The key to lining these vehicles up is actually very easy. Uh, you know, you can do it right from inside the vehicle. You, you hop in, you back up, you make sure everything is nice and straight as you're coming back into the spot. And then all you have to do is try to line up your mirrors. If you can line up the mirrors on each vehicle, especially if it's a similar vehicle to what you're uh, you're in, like these are all Traxxas, so it's pretty easy. If this was an Equinox or a Traverse, you know, the hood might be a little bit longer, so you might have to adjust, but that's super easy. You back up, you line up your mirrors, and then you take a split second when you get out to just make sure it looks good. You know, how's the gap? Is it even? Perfect. 
How does it look compared to the other vehicles? Perfect. It only takes an extra second to just get out, look, and if you have to make an adjustment, make the little adjustment so the lot looks presentable. That's really, uh, you know, what it's all about. Presentation is everything. Now, when vehicles are on an angle, it's a little harder to do, but here's a trick for you. What you want to do in these situations is you want to look at the car next to you and you want to basically line up the top of the door sill and the car you're in with like, let's say the chrome molding on that Suburban next to us. So as I'm backing up, you can see that it's pretty level, you know, the, the distance between that chrome trim and my door sill. You know, it's a nice level gap. And by doing that, it just helps you line it up, you know, as accurately as possible. The first time, again, you get out, you take a look. If you have to move it a little bit, you take a, the, the two seconds to do it. The lot looks great. If you do that with every vehicle you park, it's very little maintenance to keep the lot looking fantastic. We just had a little meeting about suburban factory orders and Tahoe factory orders. One, two, three, four, five of my 2021 suburban orders were canceled and will have to be 2022 models because they're not gonna build any more luxury package, high country deluxe package uh, vehicles for 2021. So they basically just said those allocations are canceled and you'll move them to 2022 model year. So now I gotta call a whole bunch of people and tell them that I think production um, on 2022s is gonna start in October, which means these folks won't see vehicles till November, December, if all goes well, if nothing else goes wrong. Um, it's a little tough. What are you gonna do? I don't know.